welcome back to another tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to make fusion igniters. Yeah! Just like we did the stasis device. And uh, I will put a card right up there at the top. So you can follow that link if you want to to see the stasis device video. I'm gonna break it down the same way I did before. So let's get right in here. And this is everything that you're going to need to make one fusion igniter. You're going to need 25 mordite, 50 uranium, 50 ammonia, 50 pyrite, 50 ionized cobalt, 100 frost crystals, 200 pure ferrite, 200 star bulb, 200 selenium, 300 condensed carbon, 300 cactus flesh, 500 sulfurine, 500 rayodon, 500 nitrogen and 600 fungal mold. Now, if you just wait right there, I'll come back at you and uh, I'll have it all broken down and show you exactly what goes together, what it makes. Everything broken down as to the way it needs to be. So, first we'll start with the uranium and the pure ferrite. These two together, we will make aluminium. Then with the ammonia and the ionized cobalt, we will make ammo or, uh, the ammonia and the ionized cobalt, we will make herox. The pyrite and the pure pyrite, we will use to make dirty bronze. Now with the three of these combined together, we can make geodesite. And we'll just set that off to the side, we'll come back to that towards the end. So now that the geodesite is made, we need to move on to our condensed carbon and our gases. Now we've used these before in the stasis making of the stasis device. So we're going to take our condensed carbon and our sulfurine and we're going to make a thermal condensate. Then we're going to take our condensed carbon and nitrogen, make nitrogen salt. Then we'll take our condensed carbon and our radon and we shall make enriched carbon. Now the reason why I have it separated is just like the stasis device, if you put these together a certain way it makes one item but if you put them together a different way it makes another item so in this case what we want to combine right now is the thermal condensate and the nitrogen salt to make a semiconductor and then we're gonna put the enriched carbon and the semiconductor together to make the superconductor so that part was the same. Let's move on to the Cactus Flush and Star Bulb next, which you may already have this blueprint because, well, you get that one early on. So we'll make the polyfiber. Then with the sol solanium and frost crystal, we make the heat capacitor, which these two combine together in turn make our circuit board. Now with our circuit board and our superconductor, we can make our quantum processor. So we'll pop that right there, save that for the next step. So now what we need to do is we need to work with our condensed carbon and our gases again. So we're going to make the same components that we made last time the thermal condensate, the nitrogen salt, and the enriched carbon. The only difference is, instead of putting the nitrogen salt and the enriched carbon together this time, we are actually going to put the enriched carbon and the thermal condensate together, which is going to make the organic catalyst. 
Now with the organic catalyst and the nitrogen salt put together, it gives us a completely different component, which is known as the fusion accelerant. Okay, now with the 600 fungal mold and the 25 modrite, modrite however you want to say it, we're going to make acid with the 200 cactus flush that we still have left over we are going to make unstable gel now with the unstable gel and the acid we are going to create liquid explosive Ooh, explosions right <laughs> now with our fusion accelerant and our liquid explosive we are going to make a portable reactor and with these three items combined the geodesite the quantum processor and the portable reactor we can now make our fusion igniter and our fusion igniter sells for 15,600,000 units which is the same as the stasis device so you could make these either way you could do either the stasis device, or you could do the fusion igniter, whichever one you choose. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I hope this video helps you out. Let me know, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see anything else. I'd be more than happy to make more tutorial videos. Everybody, have a great day, great afternoon. Great evening, whatever time it is for you, and as always, be safe, be well, be happy. Bye for now.